With the S7 graph language, the option for process diagnostics is already an integral part of the engineering tool. The possible fault definitions are integrated directly into the sequencer with the S7 graph editor and evaluated permanently by the sequence controller at runtime. S7 graph knows two types of error monitoring, the interlock and the supervision. The interlock is a programmable condition which affects the running of individual actions of the sequence. If the interlock condition is not fulfilled, in other words, there is an error, an interlock fault is announced, and all actions linked to the interlock are blocked. Supervision permits you to monitor the step enabling condition in the next step. If the supervision condition is fulfilled, for example through a time monitoring step, a supervision fault is announced and, depending on the settings, the sequencer is blocked. The error texts in both types are generated automatically with specification of the faulty step. S7 High Graph 2 has the option for process diagnostics already integrated. All fault definitions are displayed here in the editor on specially marked fault states. S7 High Graph basically distinguishes time monitoring and state monitoring. Time monitoring indicates whether a transition switches after a fixed time. If after the parameterized monitoring time there is to be branching into a fault state, then this is done via a transition with the predefined signal ST expired. With global monitoring, regardless of the actual active state, a signal is monitored constantly or globally for its state. In the program, this means that an any transition with conditions leads to the error state. State-dependent monitoring is when a signal is to be monitored only when it is in a particular state. In the program, the conditional transition then comes from the monitored state and leads into the fault state. In all three types, the error text is generated automatically from the state number, the name of the graph group and the state graph.